everyone, how's it going? It's Jack, and uh, I'm back. It's been uh, quite a while since I made a video, about uh, three weeks, and there's good reason for that. So, um, I made a short video three weeks ago explaining that I'd probably be absent for a while uh, because of a very serious matter that was going on in my life. Um, I'm officially back. Uh, I've been back for about a week and now, about two weeks actually, and uh, I just got my internet back. So, I feel now it's important to explain what has been going on because I didn't go into that much detail about what was going on. So, this is what happened. Um, for several years now, I have had some very serious uh, personal and financial difficulties in my life. Um, and they just seem to be getting worse. So, uh, I'm losing my house. I'm moving. I'm being forced to move out of the house that I'm currently recording in. Uh, my business isn't going well with my family. We're low on money, and the mental state of me and my mother uh, and my father has started to reach its limit. So, I over the past couple of years have started to. Gotten, have progressively gotten worse with my uh, depression. Uh, it's gotten to the point where I would wake up every morning and dream of killing myself and all day long I would have suicidal tendencies. I would hurt myself, I would drink, uh, I would just do horrible things that would hurt myself. And as far as my mother is concerned, uh, her mental state had gotten to the point where she became violent. She became narcissistic and psychopathic to an extent, uh, to the point where she and I would actually physically fight. Now, um, I feel horrible for what I did, I really do, but about three weeks ago I had gotten into an argument with her and it had gotten to the point where I had just reached my limit and I packed a bag when I got back from work and I left. Uh, and I left for about three or four days, couch surfed, uh, kind of snuck back into my old home and, you know, did stuff like that. And it, uh, it wasn't the best move. It really wasn't. I came back expecting things to be completely changed and I'd be brought back in open arms. And that wasn't the case. Um, nothing has really changed. Uh, my mother has gotten worse. And I've still felt it very hard to keep going. Now, I'm not going to kill myself or anything. Don't worry about that. It's just, it's a, it's a big struggle to wake up every morning and deal with the obstacles and conflicts that I deal with in my life. I can't go into, you know, deep detail about them because some of it is, you know, confidential and whatnot. But uh, it just seems that there's always some bearing weight weighing down on me. And it gets progressively harder to deal with and to live a n mostly normal life. I, I live a very hectic lifestyle and there's ve only very small aspects to make my life worth living for and keep on going. Um, of course YouTube is one of them. You guys got me out of my depression and uh, I really appreciate the support from that. I really do. The amount of messages that I got on my last video on in-game and Facebook and every alta other multimedia platform uh, has been absolutely astounding. Um, unfortunately, I had to quit the uh, NPA, the National Pokemon Association, because uh, of this unfortunate um, conflict. But the coaches have been very um, reasonable with me and very supportive. I really thank you guys, especially um, Tesla Mouse and uh, Pokey and uh, Jodar. You guys have been absolutely amazing. Along with everyone that's been on RuneScape, I got, oh man, I don't know how many messages from you guys explaining your support for me and trying to give me advice as to where to live and uh, how to get through this. And I, I really appreciate everything that you guys, my viewers, my friends, my fans have been doing for me. Now, yes, I am back. Things are going to change on this channel for the better. I am no longer a slave to machinima. Um... But it's going to be harder to make videos, you know. Um, I know I haven't live streamed in a couple of months. Um, things, it's been very difficult at nights to uh, even get on the computer. I do a lot of work. Uh, I work two jobs now. I have a girlfriend, so I'm constantly uh, trying to see her as much as I can. 
and I'm trying to become a doctor. Um, I'm trying to finish up my prerequisites very slowly, I'll admit, but I'm, I'm trying to improve my life. And the thing that I've taken away from leaving for those couple of days is that I need to improve on myself. I am not a perfect person. I am a horrible, selfish, self-centered liar, according to my mother. But in a way, she's right. There, I, I was selfish to an extent, and I was filled with a lot of upset and hatred. And that's probably the thing that is the worst to do, to bottle up your emotions. Uh, you know, there's always someone out there that'll listen to you. Um, for instance, my best friends and my girlfriend are there for me always, and they would always be there to listen to me and have, you know, have a person to punch and a shoulder to cry on, if you want to say it that way. So, it's it's tough. I have to deal with my own demons, and I have to try to cope with my lifestyle, um, because it is very hectic, and it's very difficult to deal with every day. But it's doable. That's the thing. There's always a way to get past a problem in life. Whether you like it or not, you can always get through life, no matter how difficult and how impossible it may sound or what the situation is. You can always get through it. And that's something that I always have to remember, that there's always a way out. There's always a solution to a problem. And you just have to face it. You just have to take it one step at a time. You can't get angry. You can't get upset. You can't get violent. You just have to take it calmly, look at it from one perspective, and face it. Because that's how you get through your fears, your conflicts, your problems in life. And it's, it's tough, but it is the best way to go. So... That's it, guys. I'm going to be bringing a lot of videos. I have a lot in mind. i got to catch up on a lot of stuff. And uh, once again, thank you all so much for the support. Um, it has been tough, but you guys give me a reason to get up in the morning and do what I do. So thanks a lot, guys. Have a great day.